After seeing the sights in Tokyo, we had one more day to explore the city before it was time to embark on our big hike on the ancient Kumano Koto Trail. Today would take us from hot pot in the city to stumbling onto a summer festival before finding an absolute hidden gem. Next hotel doesn't open until three, so we're gonna have lunch with Andrew's friend Mikey, who apparently curses a lot. Is that true? Oh, he makes like dirty jokes and stuff, yeah. <laughs> He's a delight though. <laughs> I was gonna say, you may not see much of him in this vlog. <laughs> We're headed to a place that serves omelet rice. It's 1230, none of us have had breakfast yet, so this is kind of exciting. Okay, looks like we've got a bit of a wait. We saw four people leave already, but nobody's gone in yet. Hopefully a line is a sign of good food. <laughs> okay, this is Andrew's friend Mikey is a kung fu friend. We decided to give up on the other place because it's too small and we probably won't be able to sit together anyway, so we're gonna try somewhere else. Whatever will work at this point. <laughs> this is Mikey. You Hi. Re you may remember him from the Hong Kong vlogs. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember <laughs> me from, from such trips as last week's Hong Kong <laughs> Okay, you guys gonna show us some sparring? Some chi sao? I'm not sure. You probably shouldn't do it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so we have ended up on Chinese hot pot. Maybe not the most Japanese place. In fact, not a Japanese place. If you call it shabu shabu, it's Japanese, right? You and me, me and you, yeah. cooking in the nude. Yeah. Isn't your birthday coming up or something? No. No? Okay. <laughs> the food is all quite good. We ordered way more vegetables than we meant to. But we also haven't eaten any vegetables this whole trip, so we're getting them all in one meal. Yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> this is some real spice though. This is not baby spice. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> These flowers are edible. Oh, what type of flower is it? I don't know, but I, I've seen it served in lots of dishes and I've eaten them before. <clears throat> I've never had it cooked, but it's pretty good. Does it just taste like a vegetable or? A bit crunchy, very slight sliminess. It's good, yeah. So this is some sort of shrimp paste? I think so. It's like their specialty item. Shrimpy. It still has that like springy texture of shrimp. It's just a little shrimp. Though. Yeah, yeah. This drink has pineapple chunks in it, so I'm just gonna. These are really good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so we ordered so much food, and that hot pot was about like 22 bucks per person. And in the States, that would have been easily like three to four times that cost, I would guess. I usually avoid hot pot restaurants because it's so cheap to do it yourself and so easy, but. That was great. So the total price was 19,200 yen. So that's a reasonable price on its own, but with the exchange rate right now, it was super cheap. Okay, now we've got a somewhat lengthy journey to our next place to stay. We've rented out an apartment 
It's pretty near the airport, so we can drop Maurice off tomorrow. We actually would have stayed here, but they didn't have any vacancy for tonight, so uh, we have to transfer everything over, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Why did he go over there? Privacy. It's like, like alone like, time. I like the feeling of walking carrying all this luggage. I'm gonna walk some more. <laughs> So Andrew sweats all the time. This is the one time where his sweat is 100% justified. <laughs> you should have seen me in Hong Kong. I was like soaking. <laughs> That's just sweat from different, wow. different you guys both have me beat, I think. not just cool, I'm cool-ish. <laughs> These things are super good. <laughs> and it's just squeezable vanilla ice cream, but it's super refreshing. I think it needs to thaw a little bit. It's too cool right now. <laughs> it needs to be more cool-ish. Less cool, more-ish. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Okay, so this is the apartment we rented out. Brian is usually the one who takes the sofa most of the time when we have a shared space. So this is Brian's bed right here. <laughs> we have a 32 inch TV right here. A nice full length mirror. And you can just go directly from sleeping up to checking your appearance. Over here we got a nice kitchen space for all the meals we'll be cooking. So if you've seen our previous videos in Japan, this layout is super similar to what Michael's house was there, although this kitchen is way bigger. This is surprisingly a roomy apartment. I'm not sure if this is the master bedroom or what, but there is a bedroom in here. Then over here, this is where me and Tom D will be sleeping. Fortunately, we have that other bedroom and the couch, otherwise we'd be like sardines. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Just backed in the can like this. This is like a little boy's room, like. <laughs> 13 year old brothers. Dude, can you see that the bed is going literally from one side of the room <laughs> to the other? Like, these beds are not made for this room. <laughs> There's no space for anything but sleep eating. <laughs> Let's try these uh, Kit Kats. Okay. <laughs> these are also plum. Oh, yeah, let's try those first. Yeah, yeah. Like plum chips. Plum chips. It's good. It's kind of like um, slightly sweet salt and vinegar chips. Mm, okay. It's like a bit of salt yeah. and vinegar, but it's a balsamic vinaigrette or something. Mm. That's the wheat one. This is the matcha. Mm, okay. So yeah, green. Matcha's become such a common flavor in the U.S. now. Oh. But I feel like a first time in Japan, you wouldn't have seen stuff like this that often. That's good. I feel like the packaging and the color is more fun than the taste. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's so, so subtle. But I, I do like that one. I mean, it's a solid flavor. This is wheat and chocolate. I mean, it's kind of like just a Kit Kat, but the sweetness is subtler. Mm. It's like if you accentuated more of the cookie flavor than the chocolate flavor. Oh, yeah, that does have kind of like a little bit of a Twixie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> would have that experience again, would not seek it out. <laughs> oh. It's like there's so much answer to you. Well, <laughs> I want to. Thanks, you. Again. <laughs> I just completely passed out, had a nice little nap. Thomas went out to do some laundry. I'm gonna go find Thomas. Mm -hmm. You hold down the fort. Fort being held. <laughs> Damn it, I found him too early. I just started walking. I was trying to go on a mission to find you and then I found you just around the corner. That was too easy. <laughs> Alright, it's going to be 
this it? Yep. Join you in like 15 minutes or so. Okay. Don't feel like you're need to wait here. What's really funny right now is that it seems like it's the middle of the night, but it's only 7 p.m. The sun sets really early here. Wow. Love these alleys, man. I'm trying to figure out what all of these little lanterns are and also what these names are. It almost looks like they're sponsors or something because it's not just names. Like there's, this says watermelon and this says like Nito Parts, Nail Salon, Milk Tea. Maybe this is like, um, I don't know, some sort of local sponsorship thing or something. Not sure. Okay, so we are in the Haneda Airport area, and this is the Nomi River, it looks like, and it sounds like there's something going on up here. I don't know if it's a little street festival or what. You know, exploring Japan, you really start to get an idea of where all of the environments from video games that you see come from. Like, how do they think of this? And then you walk around this area and you're like, oh, yeah, I can see how that could inspire something like that. Oh, this is definitely a little street festival or something. <laughs> okay, so this appears to be Koyasu Hachiman Jinja, and I just happened to stumble on their holiday, which is on the first Saturday and Sunday of every September. Let's go take a look around and hopefully the others will be able to join as well. I've actually never been in Japan in any of the summer months, so I've never seen something like this before. I've seen it in movies, particularly the movie Kikujiro. It's one of my favorite movies ever. And they go to a festival just like this, and they have some of the similar games that they had in that movie. This is very fun. Okay, well, for one thing, we have found out that the food is a big part of it because most of those people are just waiting in line to get food. Did you yeah, really you gotta see this, yeah. Okay. You gotta see it. Does it have funnel cakes? <laughs> They've got every type of treat, every type of Japanese treat you can imagine. <laughs> So those are called takoyaki, which are just octopus balls. I've never seen somebody making them before. He's literally just taking one chopstick and then whacking them into balls. <laughs> English. 
You're only you, Japanese. You speak great I, English. No, 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 great no, no, no. English. What do you want? Junket or pachinko? Let's do pachinko. Okay, those okay. all. Right. Give you some Yakuin. Hey. Yes, thank you. Okay, those all. Okay. okay. Ipatsu. Thank you. All right, can I pull those back? All? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Tama oh. doko. Okay, that. Okay. Wait, okay. Yes. あ、ありがとうございます。何これ。あ、1個。ごめん。3人です。オンリーワン。オンリーワン。ありがとう。ゆスピックジャパニーズ。ノ、あ、ヒダス。ちょっとだけ。あ、ちょっとだけ。バッ
And at some point, his daughter came yeah, home and was like, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's just like his little side hustle or main Dude, hustle. I, I don't know. That would be so fun to do. <laughs> okay, so that turned out to be quite an eventful night. I'm very hot and sweaty. It's time to go in, take a shower, and get some good rest because tomorrow we got a heck of a day. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. We'll see you in the next one. We've got a little robot that brings us our food. That's very exciting. A nice full length mirror. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing and checking out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash adventure. If you'd like to watch all of our videos from our 2023 trip to Japan, just click the playlist on the left. If you'd like to watch the next video in the series, click the video on the right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.